is favourite in the first of the day and Francisco de Gua is very heavily tried against it. So as I said, the last rays of the sun, we haven't seen the sun for much of the day but we're just seeing it peeping over the hill as it's about to disappear. The lights are in play and the field in the first at Wagga Wagga. The first of ten on Alibar Breeders Challenge three-year-old night tonight are off and away. A good level start. Tiwanaku's driver Bruce Harpley wants the front and he's going to get it from barrier five or six down in front of Kiraboken. They were followed away by Francisco de Gaulle began brilliantly off the second line and was already up running fourth on the outside of Daylight Robbery. In behind those paces raced Chicky's Boy on the inside of Ruby Shadow. I'm not crazy. Check it, Colours. Third to last from Million Dollar Art. And Alabama Tyson was last of all. It was Tiwanaku with enough speed to burn them off from out wide. And now Harpley just trying to temper that pace in front on Tiwanaku by six metres. Karaboken ran second. And the well-tried Francisco de Gua was uh, making his move up on the outside side to work the chair now. It's being followed forward by Ruby Shadow. On the inside, three back was Daylight Robbery, a little awkwardly placed for Nathan Jack on the 1,000 metre corner. Being followed forward by I'm Not Crazy, Alabama Tyson, well back Chickie's Boy and Million Dollar Art. They've made the sweep into the home lane and in 30 and 3 they cast the first quarter of the last mile behind them and it was Tiwanaku. Tiwanaku with a brilliant beginning by 2 metres. Francisco de Gore gone up to work his wither now. Second split 31 and 4, the first half of the last mile 61 and 7 and the Juni Postman has Tiwanaku by 2, on the outside Francisco de Gore, Kiraboken is 3rd, Ruby Shadow is 4th, 1 out and they're being followed by Daylight Robbery Alabama Tyson moves 3 wide on the outside of I'm Not Crazy and well back Million Dollar Art and Chickie's Boy, 600 to play Francisco de Gore now goes up to seriously look at Tiwanaku there's not much between that pairing at the 400, Francisco de Gore drawing a long neck in front of Tiwanaku on the inside. Now further back you've got Kerabogan. Alabama Tyson trying to be the blouse of four and five wide and getting himself into the fight with Ruby Shadow. Further back I'm not crazy Chickie's boy there'll be no daylight robbery and further back then the million dollar art into the lane they come. Francisco de Gore and Tiwanaku. Alabama Tyson and Ruby Shadow I'm not crazy coming hard out wide down near the inside. Chickie's boy got right through late and Chickie's boy Got a lovely run through on the marker line and has gone home to win by two or three metres from Francisco de Gore. Uh, Daylight Robbery flew from the back late. He might be figuring for that third money with I'm Not Crazy. Tiwanaku Kiraboka knocked up. Further back then was Alabama Tyson with Ruby Shadow and one of the last ones home is going to be Million Dollar Art and a lovely uh, marker line run for Chickie's Boy and Reese Maguire has seen him sprint home to victory along the inside side.